the house to our left is where a Jewish businessman lived for a number of years um, before the Nazis uh, took over his house, kicked him out, and then they used that house to come up with the final solution in 1942. What do you know about the final solution? It's a plan to exterminate all Jews, but it was also a plan to make the process more bureaucratic. So for the students to be in this space, um, it's not only haunting, but it's also beautiful. And so they're able to sort of feel, put their bodies in the position of what the hypocrisy and what the sort of ironic nature of the final solution was. First of all, you have a culture of fear and intimidation, but then you also have the fact that every single person did something small so as to avoid guilt. We have documentation up in this very house which says that they wanted to make sure that their soldiers didn't have psychological consequences for killings. And so they decided to create a system by which millions of people could be murdered with everyone doing only very little. It really helps the students to understand the question of how could people stand around and watch the Holocaust happen and do nothing. It's a very powerful moment, I think, for the students to come here and see the historical record being created, a place where that had significance all over the world, global significance, and on top of which we have documentation, we have primary and secondary sources, and we have a real live library where they can start to sort of sift through some of their thoughts. We've read the memoir of a Holocaust survivor, Night, by Elie Wiesel, and we've also read a graphic memoir called Mouse. In each of these texts, the students have been able to connect the effects of the Holocaust with individuals, with individuals who lived through it, who survived. Here at Vonsey House, the students are able to complete the pieces of the puzzle to see how the legacy of the Holocaust has lived on through the historical record and through the people who were affected and through the perpetrators. Students are able to see quotations from the children of survivors of the Holocaust, but also the children of SS officers and commandants who were part of perpetrating the, the horrors of the Holocaust. Now that they're able to surround themselves with the information, they're able to see the way that the historical record is constructed, and it's going to give them a much more sort of real sense of the way that the Nazi era was shaped.